All right, getting ready to turn down the um, this part of the main bearing on this little uh, crankshaft. Uh, I've already got the uh, connecting rod journal done, as you can see. So now I'm going to start on this thing here. So here you can see the uh, progress so far. You see we still have some flat spots, so we're going to have to take this ultimately down to a quarter of an inch. So here we go again. Normally I would have a lathe dog which uh, connects, which clamps onto this shaft here and goes up and goes into this slot so that I have a positive driving force on this. Right now I'm just depending on the friction of this center against the uh, countersink in the end of the shaft here to drive it. And as long as I don't take too heavy a cuts, it'll probably be okay. So you can see how this is progressing. I'm going to finish this on down to the final, close to the final diameter off camera, then I'll uh, pick it up again as I get close to the final diameter. So here you can see I've reversed the crankshaft. This end here has been turned. It's still about uh, 20 thousandths oversize. I'll finish that off uh, later. But for now, I've turned this thing around and put the unfinished end over here on this side and the finished end over here. So now I will proceed to take this side down uh, to match that side. This is going to be pretty boring. I will pause the video here and finish this to closer to the uh, final dimension. So here I've got both mains journals turned to uh, about the uh, about the proper uh, 
diameter. I'm about uh, 20 thousandths over on each one of these two shafts. Uh, I will take those down to the final uh, quarter inch, 0.25 inches uh, when I get closer to done. Uh, and I'll do some polishing so that those will uh, wind up being quite smooth. I've already done a bit of sanding on there. For some reason, the turning turned out uh, from the tool bit turned out kind of rough. Uh, I suspect it's because this is a uh, hot rolled steel, which is, uh, you know, a mixture of different things. Who knows what's really in it, but uh, it's a little harder to finish than some of your higher quality steels. Uh, I like to use hot rolled steel because it doesn't have as many stresses build up in it as cold rolled steel, and it doesn't tend to warp as much uh, after you cut it and turn it. So for that reason, it's sometimes better for machining, but clearly, uh, a much higher grade steel um, that you know what what the chemical makeup is will give you better quality anyway uh, that's it for now thanks for watching oh by the way you can see at the top here I've also rounded off these uh, tops here to dress those up a little bit and I'll be filing these edges to uh, knock those sharp edges off there so that they don't injure somebody thanks for watching